So what I wanted to do was add a spare drive to this section right here. So I have my first array. This is my first array. You can see the little dot. It's a RAID 0. It's a scary array because there's no backup. So I'm going to my operating system. Then I have my second array, array B, which is working with these two drives, which is array 1, which just mirrors these two. And now I needed to figure out how to get a spare drive. So for these two drives, if one of them dies, I want to assign a spare drive. And I think it's done, I was looking everywhere, and everyone's probably laughing at me, but it's done manage spare drives here. And I think what we can do to assign this last drive as a backup drive for these two is go to this section and assign that drive. So we'll go here. We have this last drive. Let's select it. It says dedicated spare drives. I don't want to auto replace drives when activated like uh so let's keep it as is. Okay, spare configure saved. Just hit finish. So let's see. Oh, look at it. Perfect. Hey. Now my bay 4 is backing up bay 2 and 3. So if one of these two die, this one will, um, I don't, know if it, I don't think it automatically kicks in. I don't know how it kicks in, but it's supposedly going to be a backup for these two. And that's great. It's turned green. This is good. So, so we just installed our backup drive. This hard drive right here, shown as of right here, port bay 4, that's bay 4, 3, 2, 1, and uh, yeah, bay 3, 2, 1, and oh, that's raid 1, excuse me, so bay 3, 2, and then bay 1 right here, so this is a, this drive is on this logical, so, so that's great, so now we have our configuration set up exactly how we're going to do it to install our operating system on this drive right here and then to put all of our data on these drives over on this side and then we haven't talked about our switch and all the other exciting things ahead of us so uh... this has been great i'm glad things have worked out we've installed our partitions for our RAID arrays and we are ready to move on Okay, all I want to do now is turn this thing off. So we're going to stop. We're going to turn it off because I want to install the operating system onto our first RAID 0. I'm okay to exit the application. Here we go. Our little power button is going to shut this puppy down. So thank you, everyone. We've set up our RAID arrays and now we are shutting it down to put to plug in the USB this USB to turn on our operating system all right everybody see you in the future I clicked it twice I think the first one worked but all right shut down great Let's install our operating system.